we're going to make eggplant rollatini. So if you go to the market, what you're looking for is um, probably, you don't want a, a Japanese eggplant or one of the smaller ones. You're going to look for a larger size eggplant, maybe one of the Italian eggplants like this, deep dark purple. And the reason we want to do this, that is we want to cut some really long slices from the eggplants. Now, there's a bunch of ways of doing this if you wanted to. You could, um, you could probably use a potato peeler and you could stripe so you could take some of the skin off. But I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go right down the side. We're going to take the top off first. Okay. We'll do the same on the bottom so we have a flat surface to cut on. Okay, the first one's mostly skin, so we might not use that one. But what we're going to do is like this. See nice thin slices? Just under a half inch thick, let's say. All right, put this on the side for now. When you slice the eggplant, what we do is we lay this out on a bunch of paper towels. We take a little bit of salt, you sprinkle some salt on them, and then what you do is you come back in a couple of minutes, maybe 15, 20 minutes, and you'll find out that that salt's going to draw a lot of the moisture, a lot of the water out of the eggplant. And by drawing the water out of the eggplant, it also draws whatever about an eggplant that can be bitter. So it really does take that bitterness that's sometimes inherent in eggplants, and it does draw it right out. Once you have the eggplant ready to go, we need to come up with a stuffing. So for a stuffing here, what I have is I've got some ricotta cheese. If you have a special kind you like. I like ricotta for this because it starts as a good base for our stuffing. The idea is that, you see how creamy it is? What I'm going to put is some Parmesan cheese. We've got some grated Parmesan. We've got some shredded provolone and some shredded Asiago. Now, if you don't like these cheeses or you have something special at home that you want to use, that's fine. Whatever kind of cheese you like. I have a logo. We call this the restaurant Carmine Spice. What it is is it's a blend of seven different herbs and spices. But if you're at home, what I would say is you got some nice fresh, here we go, some fresh basil. You want to use fresh basil, you want to use oregano, you want to use some parsley, whatever you have, whatever fresh. Well, I, I think fresh, I mean, you could use dry, but of course, if you have the fresh, I think it's a little nicer. Obviously, it's going to taste a little fresher, right? I mean, common sense, but if you could put in here whatever you like, we've got this carmine spice, which is some dried herbs and spices. We blend all this together. All right, now we've got this, this all set to go. We've let it sit for a little bit. I don't know, Matt, come on in here, take a look. Can you see? Can you get a shot of this on camera? Does it, does it show on camera? We've got a little, it's starting to glisten. It's starting to get a little bit of that sweat. It's starting to beat up. So what you do is, I'd probably let this go a couple more minutes, but just come back and blot it. Do both sides, then come back and see some of the moisture's even on the countertop. Okay, then we're gonna come right back here. A little bit of flour, blot another guy dry. I'm taking all that salt off and all that water. And okay, we're just gonna get these guys a little bit. And my eggs, I like to put a little grated cheese too. A little bit of grated cheese. If you want to put a little parsley in here, that's fine. But the idea is we're just making an egg wash. Okay, so we've got pan going to get that hot. A little bit of oil. Let that go for a second. Now, I didn't invent this dish. This is a dish my grandma would make. I mean, it would be spur of the moment. Actually, on a night when, when my dad was a kid, he always didn't have the money to go out and buy steak and have a real fancy dish. Eggplant's inexpensive, and this would be a classic that my grandma would make. So we'll let that go. I'm going to just really quickly pan fry a couple of slices of eggplant. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an eggplant rollatini. I'm going to pull the eggplant right about here. Okay, and what we're just going to do is we're going to roll it right around. Okay, and we'll put it on a baking sheet or a sizzle plate or whatever you have at home. What I think we need to do is put a little bit now... We've got, always in the restaurant, we've got some fresh tomato sauce, a little marinara sauce. Put a little bit right on top. Just a touch more. And then I would finish this with some of my cheese. And I think I'm going to use two. I'll use the, use the grated parm reggiano. And then I think we're going to finish it off with some of that shredded asiago. I really like the asiago. Now this is going to go in the oven. And it's probably going to take about eh, 10 or 12 minutes, about 400 degrees. It's not going to take a lot of time. So we're going to pop this one in, nice and hot. And what we have, as you can see on the inside here, see, get a shot of that, man. See the inside? The cheese is just starting to melt. Cheese on top melted. Now that is an awesome, awesome dish. You could, if you had wanted to, you could put some egg in the mixture. So if you put egg in here, what's going to happen? The egg's going to cook and it's going to help bind. But I like, I like it being. See the way it's just kind of oozing out of the sides? I just like it like that. I think that that's the way that eggplant rollatini should be. Just take the whole thing. Loose it all up there. Just slide it right off. 
right on the platter. It smells awesome. See a little bit of that, that stuffing that's it? Stuffing just put down the plate. It smells absolutely awesome. I think to finish that, a little bit more of some fresh tomato sauce here, a marinara, a little bit over the top. And there you go, real simple dish. Eggplant rollatini. If you wanted to do this again, you could have done it in layers. Eggplant lasagna. It would have worked in so many different ways. You can actually bread the, uh, the eggplant if you like to, stack those up, make towers with them. A million different ways. Bottom line though is simple, cheap eats, one pan, real simple to do.